Hello folks, this is Ted White and today I'm going to show you how to do a hologram effect in CapCut PC with your laptop like you see here. Let's check it out. Alright folks, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to import the files in which we're going to make the hologram effect with. So first I'm going to select this file and I'm going to click open and then I'm going to grab the other file that we need here which will be me working on the laptop and I'm going to select that one and open it. So they're both imported now. Now these are both the same size and I made them so that they um, kind of coincide with each other where I'm scrolling in one and the page is going down in the other um, and I'm clicking in one and it makes sense that I'm clicking in the other. So you're going to want to do the same, okay? Uh, but here I am going to take the main video here of me sitting on the laptop and bring it down to the timeline and that'll be our background or main video. For the hologram I'm going to drag that down to the timeline and I'm going to drag it right above the main video. Okay, so our next step we are going to grab one of the corners here of the hologram. So this is the overlay image. We're going to grab a corner of it and we're going to minimize it. Okay, so we're going to make it smaller. We can use the scale as well to do it this way. But for this particular effect, it's easier to kind of grab it and reposition. So what I'm going to try to do here is make it parallel with the top of the laptop um, which it's pretty close right there and then I'm going to make it smaller because I want it to kind of be the exact same length as the top of the laptop or, or somewhat close and we are very close here there we are right about there I think so then what we're going to do is there's a couple of options um, there's video and then basic and then underneath there's blend and in the blend under the blend there is mode it's on default so you can go on brighten okay and play that and then that kind of gives a hologram effect right there and it's pretty good Okay, so I'm going to put this on full screen and we will play this and that definitely gives a good hologram effect with the laptop. Okay, so that's going from default to Brighton, so that's under Brighton. And then another one we could choose is screen okay for mode and let's take a look here we'll put that on full screen and this one's quite good too so this is a really really good hologram effect with me scrolling on the laptop okay and then finally another option is just clicking on this going to the beginning changing this to default again and going to opacity and just reducing the opacity to to whatever you choose okay and doing it that way But there's basically three options and they're all pretty good and they all kind of give a hologram effect. You can also do the opacity um, with Brighton or Screen. You can adjust the opacity and that changes the effect. but you get the idea. So that's it for this tutorial, folks. I hope it helps you out and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.